Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ray-Ban Caravan Reverse. But first off, getting today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses. Just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. Now the model number here is RBR0102S. Is Ray-Ban's designation for the Reverse Series sunglasses. That way they kind of separate themselves from all the other uh, lineup of frames. Now, as far as the dimensions go on these frames, they only come in one size and they have 58 millimeter lenses and a 15 millimeter bridge. Now, I actually personally like these a lot better than the Ray-Ban Aviator Reverse. I think the reverse styling look a lot better here on these Caravan frames. And they're also a lot more practical as well because they don't bend out quite as much as those a Ray-Ban Aviator Reverse do. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar about Ray-Ban's Reverse series, basically they take a traditional convex lens that's gonna be tilted towards the cheeks and towards the eyebrows, and they flip it around the opposite way, and they turn it into a concave lens that actually faces uh, the other direction. And as far as an optical standpoint, it's a terrible, terrible idea. Obviously, you want the lenses to be tilting in the face, that way they block sun so here we can see as far as coverage goes there are massive gaps of that sunlight you know protected here on the side of sunglasses and then here on the top as well even if them pushed all the way forward they're just huge gaps so it really does not make sense as far as a sunglass standpoint it really is a terrible terrible idea with the ray-ban aviator reverse my eyelashes actually touch the lenses and if i move these caravans all the way back my eyelashes just barely barely touch these lenses so to wear these frames without my eyelashes touching. I have to move it probably just a half a millimeter, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And I definitely could adjust uh, these nose rests to make the sunglasses uh, fit on my face a little bit more forward. Uh, but again, that's pushing the frames even more away from my face, uh, causing even worse coverage from sun. So that's definitely not ideal. But my eyelashes don't touch the lenses nearly as much as they did with the Ray-Ban Aviator. So for me and my face shape, this is a huge, huge improvement over those Ray-Ban Aviator reverse sunglasses. Now, as far as the styling of these frames go, again, I think these look a lot, lot better than the Ray-Ban Aviator Reverse. I do kind of like the styling of these frames. I don't think they look nearly as silly and, you know, bold as the uh, Aviators. I think they kind of look pretty good. Again, I don't love these. I definitely personally uh, prefer the standard original, uh, but these definitely are much more bolder and a little bit more loud. And then because of the lens uh, shape, uh, they're going to kind of catch light in a different way, which definitely, you know, adds to a really cool kind of space ag look as you guys can see with the lights here bouncing off the lenses it just looks really really interesting and these frames are definitely going to have this effect when wearing these outside as well so clearly there are a lot of cons when it comes to buying these frames now as far as the pros of these go they actually are going to be potentially good for people who have tall cheekbones, uh, where sunglasses traditionally, like the Aviator Caravan, would actually kind of touch the cheekbone here and be really annoying if they smile, it would move the frames up and down and just kind of be a pain in the neck. Well, with this design, it's going to bend out away from the cheek, so it's really gonna be very great for people who have problems with sunglasses and also who get annoyed if the frames do rest on the cheek there. So that is kind of the big uh, pro of these frames, that and of course, the kind of outlandish styling of these as well. Now, as far as sustainability goes, a Ray-Ban is bragging that these frames are uh, bio-based nylon lens. So again, these are nylon lenses, not all glass lenses, uh, because it would cost way too much to develop a all glass lens. And I don't think that Ray-Ban is planning on making these for a really long time. Uh, so these do have these nylon lenses and they are made out of 41% bio-based carbon content. Uh, not that, you know, there's a lot of material here on the lens anyway, so it's not affecting the environment too much, but they also come in their new uh, kind of cardboardy uh, case as well. Those frames also have an anti-glare treatment, which reduces reflections up to 70%, and that seems to work pretty good. Nothing too crazy compared to a standard pair of Ray-Bans uh, sunglass lenses as far as I can tell here, and they also do have this really nice anti-reflective material, uh, which helps reduce, you know, glare bouncing off the lens. Absolutely a must-have 
that when buying a pair of reverse series lens because that light just gets funneled straight back into your eye. And it does definitely do a really good job of blocking uh, the sunlight coming out and bouncing off. But of course, it's not going to help prevent sunlight going straight into the eyes uh, with the bad coverage here. Of course, like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, they have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner for authentication purposes. And if we take a look here at the middle left of the lens, we can also see a little etched RB logo there for authentication purposes. Moving down, we can see these really nice temples, a little Ray-Ban logo that's etched into the frame on both the left and the right hand side. I also really do like how Ray-Ban is color matching the temple tips to the lenses. So here you can see the light blue lenses and then the light blue temple tips, which is just really cool. And I like how Ray-Ban is matching the lenses to the temple tips here. Now, as far as the exact frame color, these are Ray-Ban's polished gunmetal frames, which look really nice in my opinion. I really do like the color of these frames. Definitely looks kind of modern and interesting. Definitely a good looking color combination. This color combination is definitely my favorite, but it's also one of the more expensive ones coming in at $210. Now these frames also have fully adjustable nose rests, so you can completely adjust these to your liking to give the frames a custom fit to the face. And they also have an etched RB logo there. Um, uh, for authentication purposes. Uh, now, as far as the hinges go, these look like they have really overbuilt and nice uh, all metal hinges and they feel very, very premium when opening up and when closing them. Now these frames are made in Italy and they sit here in the inner right temple of the frames. They say Ray-Ban made in Italy and the build quality here is really good. Everything just feels very nice and substantial. Uh, this does feel like a premium pair of frames from Ray-Ban. Uh, but the biggest problem by far is definitely the practicality. These frames simply don't function nearly as well as a standard pair of Ray-Ban caravans do because of their outlandish styling and their reverse lenses. Gap that sunlight in unprotected is just absolutely massive. And because of that, they're just not good at being a pair of sunglasses. Now, something that I do have to know about these versus the Aviator Reverse is when wearing these frames, there isn't that side distortion. So with the Ray-Ban Aviator Reverse that I reviewed, there was a ton of distortion here on the outside of the frames, which made me kind of dizzy and they were really, really bad. Here with the Caravan, there might just be a slight amount of just distortion because the lens does have that curve, but really, I don't see too much and it does not bother me and it does not make me sick. Uh, so this is a huge improvement over the Aviator Reverse here with the Caravan. So here with the Caravan, the big downside again is just the coverage from the sun and then being silly as far as a pair of sunglasses goes, uh, but you don't have that terrible distortion of the outside world around you like you do with the Aviator Reverse. So these are definitely much, much, much better in my opinion than those Aviator Reverse are. And uh, this is much more of a functioning functional pair of sunglasses, if that makes sense. Uh, now, as far as pricing goes, again, this exact colorway that I'm reviewing here, it costs $210, which is definitely pretty expensive, but I'm going to leave a link description down below directly to my website where you can pick up this pair for a discount off the original MSRP, but I'm also going to leave a link description down below uh, to Ray-Ban's website where you can pick up every colorway available uh, directly from Ray-Ban's website that's where you want to buy from because you know they're authentic, that and of course my own website where we personally authenticate everything. Well, that's about it for this video. Let me know what you think about these frames. I do, like I said, I like these a lot better than the Aviator Reverse, but they're still definitely not my favorite. I do kind of like the styling. I don't know. They look pretty interesting, but they look a little kind of crazy as well. But I am very interested to know what do you think about these frames in the comment section down below, and I'll try to answer or I'll try to respond to all the comments that I get on there. Uh, but that's all you guys in the video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up down below if you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you all in the next video.